in my animation. Wow. That move is too good. So good. <laughs> Giant tentacle monster. sequences are too good. Kitty, what do you think we should do? He's hurt you, Rose. Well, we can't be having that now, can we? Whoa, that is creepy. You, Stitia. Oh, come on.
grenades. He never did that before. Okay, doing pretty good so far. Oh, what is happening? Whoa, what? Mash! Ugh. Oh my god. There's only, there's probably one more. Yeah, there is.
again? No! Oh man, I wonder how far how far along it is. And it's probably going to be at the very beginning. At least I know what to do. Oh, that sucks. Climax again! Oh, that's so, that's <laughs> so bad. Truly, he's not done just because I cut off all three of those. Is he gonna explode? Climax! An airplane? Oh my god. Like, Gears of War monster. Oh, go, 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 go! Fourteen hundred. How about now? Still lucky. You can go another round, can't you? Your soul will fall for this or her. Dulce, dulce, Maria, Pia. The Lumen Sage. Pulso. I suppose one of them is an adult, so they should be okay. Oh, come on! Oh! 
That was no good. buy some stuff go finish off i could probably get two or three more moves so let's do that you really want to make a deal with the devil <laughs> relax i'm just fucking Yeah, I can get one, two, thirty. Oh, oh well. Get two more. Oh, just a little bit too much. That's so cool. I can turn into bats and a crow. So only fifty more thousand to get those two. Twelve. The story hasn't progressed really up until a couple chapters ago, but those bosses feel like the end of the game, but they're not. Excuse me, sir. May I have my glasses back? Huh? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Teresa, how did you get such... Magical glasses. <laughs> the glasses aren't magic, silly. I can see the monsters without them. Monsters? Not quite. So, uh, has Bayonetta, I mean your mom, been fighting these big bad monsters for a long time? Mummy is a witch, and witches protect people and are very strong. When I grow up, I'll be strong too, and I'll protect my <laughs> Wait, you think witches do- Oh, that's so good. <laughs> no point in arguing with a little kid. I manage on my own. I'm sure you will. Mummy! Shit. You never cease to amuse me, Cheshire. I suppose that's your next target. <laughs> this is yours, little one. You didn't cry while I was gone, did you? Nope. Good. Bayonetta, no matter how I ask, no matter how many times, you always say the same thing. Come now, Kitty. You know it was A all just... A misunderstanding. You're so stubborn, you know that? My father. He was a journalist, too. In fact, he was twice the man I could ever hope to be. He was obsessed with one case his entire career. A case so bizarre it took over his life. Could have made a movie of the details. The followers of darkness, the Umbra witches, then their light world counterparts, the Lumen Sages, controlling everything with a power known as the Eyes of the World. Then, the light and dark clans suddenly disappear from their medieval home in Europe. You may be familiar with the town. You're standing in it. Welcome to Vigrid. 500 years later. 500 years. Each clan, working at the behest of the powers that be, 
sought to lead their fractured world towards peace. They both possessed an eye said to have the power to create history that they used to oversee the world. However, their spirit of cooperation did not last. For amongst them, a pair of young star-crossed lovers conceived a child that sent the clans on a path to ruin. The woman was thrown in jail and the man exiled from his clan. However, the child remained with the Umbra, raised as a black sheep even amongst the darkness. Since the balance between light and dark had been lost, both clans spiraled into Looks the like Earth. Romeo and Juliet. Legend had it that the two eyes could be united to control reality itself. And this legend fueled ambition and desire, leading to a myriad of battles between the clans. In fact, it led to their mutual destruction. My father was mocked for buying such a fairy tale. However, I believed his story. And I believe it more than ever now that I've found you. The memory of the clan lingers on, despite the passing of 500 years. What on earth was my father searching for? And why did he have to die for it? to discover the truth with my own eyes. That's why I haven't given up my chase for it. Or you. The head of the Ithaval group, the multinational that dominates Vigrid, recently tried to sell an enormous gemstone on the black market. If he isn't selling out in the open, it means we're going to have to acquire it by other means. And that starts by sneaking onto that jet. <laughs> That's really funny. Mummy, are you looking for something? I am. Who did you lose it? Little one, do you have anything you really like? Something really important to you? Did you get this? You gave it to me, Mummy, for my birthday. When you love something, never lose it. Understand, little one? You must keep it safe, close to your heart. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, don't leave her. What is wrong with you? Where did she go? Where is Cereza? Oh, 
What? Oh wow, come on. What? I'm not gonna use it, but cool. Whoa, come on. Oh, it's been a while since I got one of these. Figured uh, has a very large military base. Only large military transport jets known as Valkyries. I have been aboard American military transport many times in an official capacity. Uh, the size difference is clearly evident, like the difference in size between a crow and an eagle. Okay, so apparently these Valkyries are huge. So, it doesn't have them anymore. Um... Okay. 